Hello guys and welcome back to more Legon on the Force Nines YouTube channel, continuing the Leon save on FM 2015 today. And today's live com in Liga 1 is at home against La Havre. Um, we're now into February, so the January transfer window is over. Only thing of note that happened is we released Steve Malbronk, who was unhappy, and he said that we didn't try to sell him, which isn't true, we did try to sell him. So uh, I put him on sell or uh, release. Ev eventually we um, released him by mutual consent, so we didn't have to pay him compensation. And I've got a feeling he'll be retiring at the end of, end of the season anyway, because he's 37 years old. Uh, and then the other thing that happened was that we loaned Jale to Roma. He was unhappy at lack of first team football and said, you know, he might not be up to playing at the club. So I, I um, put him on the transfer list. No one actually wanted to buy him, but he's on loan at Roma. And they have an option at any time to uh, buy him for £350,000. So um, we've gotten rid of a couple of players. And it's freed up a bit of wage budget as well for, um, well, I guess for regens when they come in. If we need to sign any regens to big deals, things like that. Um, so at the moment, yeah, our budgets are fine. You know, wage budget's looking pretty good, actually. Pretty, pretty good. So uh, I'm happy with everything there. And I'm happy with our um, statue in the league now. We've gone up to second place since uh, last time. We were third. I said last episode that Marseille and Lille would not drop a lot of points. Uh, yeah, they dropped more points. Um, we overtook Lille because I believe they drew a game. They had a couple of draws, in fact. Oh, look at What was it against West Brom? Because West Brom in the, in the uh, Europa League. I believe they won like a fair play one or something. I'm not quite sure. So yeah, um, Lille have drawn the last three league games. They drew against Rennes, Saint-Etienne and Bastia. So they've uh, lost a bit of ground. Marseille also uh, suffered a defeat in one of their games. Um, yeah, they lost 2-1 to Rennes. So we've got a game extra. We're five points behind. So a victory today against La Havre will put us only two points behind Marseille. And we are facing them in about six weeks' time or so. So... Uh, and we've also got Lille coming up as well. Lille will be in my next live com as well. So we've got some big games coming up. Uh, let's go through to the schedule and look at the games I played off screen. Did not suffer defeat, thankfully. Uh, last live com was against Nancy. We won 4 0. Visan Ben Yedis scoring a hat trick and Gorka for also getting a goal. Very nice live performance that. I only played four league games off screen because I didn't want to go on to like a Champions League game. Until we actually progressed further, and then I thought Ren was a bit too far away for us to do a live come on that. So, of the games I played on the screen, three three wins and one draw. So let's start off with the win against Toulouse. This was away from home. It was a two-one victory. Wasn't sure if we would get the win here, but thankfully we did. Uh, Johan Gorkov with a nice early goal in the fifth minute. Very good goal. Uh, and then Toulouse got an equaliser in the second half through the uh, former Newcastle man Johan Gufran. Um, who they signed this season actually for 1.3 million. Uh, we got a winner eventually though. Corentin Tolisso with this first goal of the season he actually came off the bench. So he came, he scored in the 74th minute. So he came on 10, he scored 10 minutes after coming on. I brought him on for Mbumbuni. He was having a pretty poor game at defence and uh, not sure if he's really up to playing in the first team. What is his report like actually? Oh well, yeah, it's not. He's not great, to be honest to him. I, I must be thinking of a different one that was actually pretty good. Uh, but he's, you know, he started some games, and I was. I would hope that would help him. But it hasn't really. So I don't think we'll be using him in the future. Uh, got a one 0 win against Bordeaux. Um, was this an even match? No, we really should have scored more in this game, and unfortunately we didn't. Uh, Halilovic got the only goal of the game and the funny thing about that is that in the press conference before the match Bordeaux's manager said that Halilovic was the weak leak in the team and he scored the goal to beat them so uh, yeah Halilovic getting a uh, getting the last laugh there Bordeaux had just three shots all game and they also had an injury to their striker Morris Belay late on in the game a couple of pickings for us and Grognier also went off with a knock so um, I don't think he missed any game though no, I believe not. So, yeah, we scraped a 1-0 win. I would like to have won by more, but it's another three points, thankfully. Uh, then we had our draw. This was a goalless draw away against Nice, who I think we've had a bit of trouble against in this save. Simon Pouplan, their goalkeeper, has not conceded against us in four games. So, uh, yeah, the same thing happened here again. We had 24 shots in this game, six of which were on target. So, uh, yeah, 
I would have liked to have got a goal in this game. Gorka went off injured just before half time in this game. Didn't miss any game time. No, I lie. Yeah, he suffered any injury in that game. So that put him out for a, for a little bit. And he missed the uh, cup game that was afterwards as well. Um, but he's only going to miss about another, well, a few days. Less than a week. So that's not too bad. And we have other options there as well. So yeah, this is nice. Not a nice performance, but you know, a 3-0 win. Not a 3-0 win. What am I talking about? A 0-0 draw. Then we did have a 3-0 win. This was against Nancy, who uh, we beat in the last live come 4-0. Um, this was in the Coupe de France in the 11th round, and we won. And this is the furthest we've got in this cup in the save, which is good. Uh, I'm TT and Essentia scoring two goals, um, scoring a goal each within four minutes of each other to put us 2-0 up early on. Hililovic added the third in the 81st minute. Marco Essencio, well, a much improved performance of late, got a 9.0. I believe he got an assist in this game, and he did really well, created loads of chances. So, uh, yeah, that's good to see. I'm glad he started playing again, because he had some very bad games. Um, so, yeah, nice 3-0 win there. And in the quarterfinals of the Coupe de France, we've drawn Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, and we have faced them in a... Did we face them in a competition earlier? No, we didn't. No, it was Monaco we faced earlier. So, yeah, we've got PSG away from home in the quarterfinal, so it's not going to be easy. And I do want to try and get to at least the semi-finals in this Coupe de France. We're expected to get to the final. That's what the board want. And looking at some of the teams left, you know, if we can get through PSG, I think we could do it. We're probably, we, apart from maybe Lille, we are the strongest team left. And PSG have really had a... Well, that, that they've gone down a bit. If you can look at this, look at that sum. So they were champions in, well, 2014... And then on the saves, they finished third and then fourth. And now they're fifth. And they're on their third manager in the save, I think. Maybe even fourth. Their fourth manager. Laurent Blanc was sacked after all, not quite two years. And then Unai Emery took over in June of 2015. He was sacked in February. Ronald Koeman took over from him in last year's about the same time. And uh, Vade Halihodzic is their new manager, who I believe was their manager quite a while ago. If we look at achievements, yeah, he was their manager, well, over 10 years ago, and he's come back to the club after jobs like, well, national jobs, Ivory Coast and Algeria, and then like Trabzonspor and Dinamo, and the South African team there. He's been all over the shop, and he's come back to PSG, which was, well, not his first manager's job, because he's pretty old now, isn't he? 64. So, yeah, there's been some things of, um, yeah, people coming back to manage old clubs. So, if we have a look... Uh, manager movements. What was the other one? Other big one. Is like was it a Marseille one or something? I can't remember. So yeah, that's all the manager movements in um. Well, in November and December, that must be. It must have been the only changes then. Uh, PSG was sacked from uh, Cumin because the players lost confidence in him. So yeah, um, but there, that's about it. Um, if we look at our squad. I'm going to filter back in the uh, the unavailable players because we do have injuries in the squad. Gomez, as you can see, is still on uh, international duty because he's playing in the uh, in the Cup of Nations. Um, yeah, he's in the final, actually. The final is Senegal against Ghana. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's still going on. Uh, so, yeah, he, he's playing in that, in, in that final. Higatsi also playing there, it seems. Um, Fouad Ali is a young player who's injured. He's not quite back yet. Apinas is still injured. Gorkov still injured. Fakir's also in that final. Lacazette is almost back. He's got how long left? One to five days um, before he returns. He's back in light training, it seems. Um, well, it looks like he can actually. It looks like he's actually available, but uh, he won't be fully fit for a few days yet. And that's it. So. Uh, I'm going to try and pick a game for today's game. Um, as I said, we're at home against La Havre. So let's see how we do. Um, let's go to the team selection. Um, I'll leave it on this formation. I'll do a quick pick, see what we get. Um, all right, we've got Bedimo at left back. Even though Jokic has been doing well there. We'll leave it as Jokic, I think. We'll have to be Nika because we don't have another right back now. We, we need to sort that out in the next... Well, in the summer, I think it looks like we'll need another right back. Uh, do you want me to go? Yeah, Asensio and Halilovic because we're still missing Gorkov. Uh, Asensio is the on-gonch. 
Grania Kandera have been, you know, a staple in the team all season. I think they started almost. I think they have started every game. Uh, and then we need to sort out our bench. So who can we have on the bench? Hussein's now registered. Oh, he's the only other person fit that we can actually use. So we'll have Hussein on the bench, and we'll take off that young goalkeeper Smiths, whatever, he, whatever his name is. Submit the team, <clears throat> and then Leon are going to be favourites. Yep, yeah, of course they have. No, we. I don't mind that Gomez is missing. <clears throat> All right, so there is uh, La Avra's formation, kind of a... Well, I use this um, a lot in my uh, in my Charlton save, which I unfortunately lost. Um, it worked very well, actually. But, yeah, I'm liking this formation at the moment with um, Leon. It's working very, very well. This and the narrow diamonds, you know, are kind of going between the two. This started off as a Christmas tree because we had Gonalon moved up between Grenier and, well, the other midfielder that was there, which would have been Ferry at the start, wouldn't it? Jordan Ferry. So, yeah, it started off as, as a Christmas tree, and it's kind of um, developed into, well, kind of a ring, if you like, with a line on the rope. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Like a sonic ring, I don't know. Uh, yeah, pick up where you left off. Um, we'll just add a bit of um, individual team talk, try and get that positivity up. Well, not as much as I would have liked, but never mind. It's a positive team talk, and let's kick off. So here we go. Leon versus La Avra, and we kick off. Well, Elilovic has taken an early knock here, but I think he'll be okay. He hasn't actually taken a knock, but he was fouled and needed a bit of treatment. And beats on with the ball here. I'm surprised he didn't go for a header there. It was a tight angle, but I think he would have gone something on that. Grania wins the ball after the tackle from their uh, number seven, Kadira, to Umtiti, to Gonalon. Let's try and get it away from our area, guys. Thank you very much. Brian Jokic loses out. Medicine. Kadira wins it back. He's actually been very good this season. Hasn't had some of the best ratings, but I think he has done his job perfectly. And Ben Yedder with a shot, and he bends it just wide. Jokic now, as well, is kind of. Well, he's blue, he's lost a bit of conditioning, but he's getting it back up now. 15 minutes played, more or less. We've had five shots so far. Grogne with a free kick. And, um... Oh. Oh. What? Um, why did that just... Was that a deliberate handball? Did he just, did he just get a second yellow card for a deliberate handball? Um, I'm confused. Right. Um, we've had a man sent off, and we're only 15 minutes in. Uh, I did. I have no idea what that was for. He, was that where was that first yellow card? That must have been well early. Seventh minute, and then the 15th minute. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, right. Let's go to our tactics. We'll drop Goddard on back into defence then. That's put a spanner in the works. We're down to 10 men and we're only 15 minutes in. Right. I'm going to go from attacking to control now. So now we've lost a midfield player. Right. We've got a free kick here. On TT with a head. Oh, what a header that is. Do you know, he took a while to actually score his first goal. He's got four now in all competitions as uh, Sam on TT. And that was a beautiful header. It, that must have had so much power on it to get to get that much power on a head. It's great. That was a good goal. And despite the man disadvantage, we're winning the game. And we'll s carry on with the game as soon as football football manager starts responding again. There we go. Just about there. Oh, I'll see it again. Why not? Grognier and Amtiti with the header. That was travelling at some speed as well. That's a excellent header by Sam Amtiti. Um, La Avra with the corner of their own now. Amtiti with the header away this time. One back by Beaton. Finds Monbri. He's on a yellow himself. Nika. That was a poor interception. And Mendes is there at the back post. And it's 1-1. That was a poor... Um, Poor decision making by uh, Nika there. Bonnet, like Nika, 
I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do there, but it didn't work, whatever it was. He should have just put it out for a throw. But unfortunately, he didn't do that. 40 minutes played, coming close to half time now. Won another goal, really, before the end of the first half. Don't think we'll get one, though. And Asensio, again, has been playing poorly. He's frustrated me. He's had some good games, but he's had some bad games. Unlucky. Uh, keep going out there and you can still win. Let's try that. Um, you've been unlucky so far. Good effort. You weren't that bad. You weren't that bad. Let's try something like that. That was okay. I'm TT looking to switch off for whatever reason. Let Avra kick off the second half. Bonnet. Still going. Gone along wins the ball back. Puts it out for a throw room. Nick has been a bit funny today. I'm not quite sure why. I'm going to lose ground on Marseille here. We'll be four points behind if it keeps up like this. Lopez picks up the ball comfortably there. I'm going to leave it on control. Nika to Kadira. Halilovic to Gronier. Marco Asensio finds Ben Yedder. Can he get a shot away? Can he get a shot away? Come on. He did, but it went, well, just over and just wide as well. Um, trying to encourage more long balls. Yeah, we'll try that. Um, what can I do? Nika. Gronier for the throw in. Nico wins it back. Dino Hililovic loses that to Van Stockham. Here's Alar. Here's Mendes, who scored their goal, the equaliser. Gets a cross in. And get it out. Thank you, Umtiti. Coming up to the hour mark. And it's been a bit nervy. They've only had three shots at Avra, but they've been pretty important shots. Two of them have been clear cut chances. I'm going to make a change because Essencio's. Not done too good for me. I'm going to switch to a diamond. Do I want to switch to a diamond? No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this. I'm going to leave Halilovic. Halilovic? Yeah. In the hole himself. And I'm going to drop Asensio back to there. So it'll be a diamond, but with one striker. So we'll put Talisa on for Asensio. Um, hopefully that'll stabilise things and we can still push up and try and score a winner. Nika with a throw in here. And he, well, the ball was given away almost straight away. Gronier to Taliso. Ben Yedder, go on, come on. Beat the keeper to it, no. Van Stockham to Mendes. Mendes to Saiz. To Bonnet, who's got space on the right. And Jokic wins the ball back. Good stuff by the uh, Slovenian left back. With some Ben Yedder now. He hasn't got any support. He needs to try and hold it up here. He goes for the shot selfishly. Uh, I'm going to make another change. I'm going to take off... Be Do I want to take off Ben Yedder? I don't know. Yeah, he hasn't done very well. So we'll bring on De Jong for Ben Yedder. Uh, target man. And also... I can't take off Helilovic. He's already going the hole. Unless we put Gronje up there. He could play there. And then we go with Mwemba. And that'll be it. That'll be all of our changes with 15 minutes left. So I'm hoping for no more injuries or cards. I think we've only... I think Bedimo has been... The, not Bedimo. Kone has been the only person who's actually had a card for us. And he's had two of both of them. Mwemba to Grunier. Here's De Jong. Mwemba to Jokic. Come on, get, get, go on, get a goal for De Jong. Go on. Oh, yes. Super sub strikes again. Luke De Jong with only his second goal of the season. <laughs> but it, it, both of them have been from the bench. And we've got a lead in the game. Again. Now can we hold on to it? I'm going to go back to defensive. Now I don't have any instructions set on this formation actually. I just noticed. <laughs> Let's slow it down a bit. Uh, we'll waste time as well because there's only about 10 minutes left. Play narrow. Work ball into box. Shorter passing. We'll leave it at that for now. We'll have more later. Hopefully we can hold on with um, seven, six and a bit minutes left of uh, regular time. Um, I'm going to go. That was put us back to contain. I think we do need to do that. With three minutes left, we should 
pull this off unless they get a late one here. Right, oh, 30 seconds left and they've got a, the ball right here. Bonnet. Come on. Oh, Lopez held on to it. Good. I think that was their last chance of the match. It looks like we're going to come away with the win. Oh. Well, it's our stadium. But it looks like we'll get a win. We could add another one here. De Jong, no. Thought he was going to try and get header on it there, but it didn't. Um, final whistle goes. I think it was a deserved victory, but it was a bit nervy at times. Um, I'm going to say I have nothing specific to mention. Because they didn't play well, per se. I know they did. Defending was crucial in the win, we'll say that. Yeah, they're still a bit confused. Well, the defence are anyway. So is Luke de Jong. Um, well, leave it at that, I think. Given the lack of discipline, we'll kind of be featuring your first team plans again soon. I ain't discussing that now. It was a bit silly, though. It looked like it was for a deliberate handball. That's what it looked like, because it said handball, and then he was booked. So... You don't get booked for handballs, though, do you? If it's, if it's a deliberate handball, that's a straight red card, isn't it? I'm confused. But he got a second yellow card, and... Well, I don't know. It's, no, he's not leaving. I can't see why he'd want to leave. Yeah, Nika's had a lot of yellow cards. Uh... Yeah, my boys are made of sterling stuff. Special goal for Luke De Jong. Burian had a good solid game. So Kona's going to be booked for one match. I'm going to give him a warning because it looked like it was a deliberate handball. On TT was man of the match. So he got our first goal. Garcia. Oh, okay. It's guys for the France squad. Kona accepts his warning. So the competitions now. Let's have a look at the league now. That does put us two points behind Marseille. What have they actually got coming up? Let's see. They're facing Lille soon. So they'll be first against third. They've got Champions League to deal with as well. They've got the League Cup final as well. So, yeah, they've got a pretty busy schedule. But then again, so have we. I almost went the video without being interrupted then. But unfortunately, I didn't. Someone came in from work. Uh, what was I even saying? Yeah, that's going to do it for today. Uh, next live come, as I said, will be against Lille. So we've got some big games coming up. We've got Saint-Étienne, the Brun Derby. And we've got PSG in the Coupe de France. And we have the Champions League last 16 as well. So there's some big games coming up. And we've got six games to play off screen. So, um, yeah, it's going to be busy for me for, um, well, for the next couple of days. I doubt there'll be a video coming out on Wednesday. Because, um, well, if I can, I will. But I very much doubt it because... Um, because it's very hard to record videos while something else is rendering and with Assassin's Creed to film as well that would take a long time to render and you can't film during a rendering otherwise it just looks terrible and also you know I do like to have you know a bit of time away from recording just at least uh, for one day a week so yeah but anyway yeah I'll do as much as I can and then hopefully the Leo video will come out on well Thursday at the very latest so that's going to do it for today thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video goodbye